Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. A little bit of homebrew up in this piece. Form of Phil from Illinois. It says Lavender Haze. Don't let the name fool you because the fool me in unboxing is not a hazy. It's a wit beer. Uh, a wit beer with lavender and lemon zest. Um, yeah, his... Um, Phil sent me a couple commercial beers, a couple homebrew beers. This is the second one I'm reviewing. The first one was lager. Loved it. Go check out that video if you have not. Um, and he sent me this one, and it was like on his homebrew club, uh, the Prairie Schooners, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, shout out to, shout out to those peeps. Um, they had like an herb flower kind of thing going on with their homebrew competition, and this is what. He came up with, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's how we lavender haze. Like I said, it had uh, the um, lavender and um, lemon zest in it. So we'll see where the sucker lands. I have not had a wit beer in a while. Wait, that's probably wrong, actually. I have sneaky wit beers. And by sneaky wit beers, I mean, wit beer is my go-to. Um, typically when I'm at like a ballpark or an airport or whatever, and they don't have a great craft beer selection. Typically, they have some kind of wit beer on. Um, you know, whether it be Ho Garden or something, just, you know, it'll, it, it's good, it's tasty, I'll rip it. So, I can't remember the last time it was, probably at a ball game or something like that, but it probably hasn't been all that long. Uh, beer wise, it looks the part of a wit beer. It has a soft little haze to it, nothing too crazy. Um, it just comes off a little bit kind of grapefruity skin in color, not necessarily a bright kind of yellowy. There's a little bit of um, darkness to it. Doesn't really, I guess that translates on camera. Um, quarter pinky finger, white as white could be head, uh, head, soft little haze on it. I mean, looks the part. Looks the part. You know, some tend to be a little bit hazier than this, but yeah. We're, in, we're there. We're there. Let's see if we can get nose. Man, that lavender really comes through here. And I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm not Team Lavender. I am not Team Lavender. Um, uh, something about it makes me think of old grandmas and and whatever. Because um, there's really young grandmas. I guess there are young grandmas. But anyway, um, I don't really think um, great things when I think of Lavender. I like what's going on here. Because when you get that kind, of, that kind of natural inherent citrus that you typically get from a wit beer, then you add that lemon zest in there, then you add that lavender. There's a little bit more going on to it. So as someone who's just not a big big lavender person but i can appreciate it when it's done right i, I kind of dig the nose on this i think we're working towards a really nice kind of combination outside of that you got that nice kind of lemon uh zesty citrus to it there's a little bit of lemony vibes a little bit of citrus vibes a little bit of wheat vibes done and done definitely is the adjuncts are leading the horse here not terribly heavy I'm assuming this being a wit beer homebrew, we're probably coming in at the high five, slow sixes. That's my guess. Um, he might have wrote the ABV down accidentally through the paper way. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, it smells like a nice little soft little wit beer, but you have that pop of lavender, pop of citrus to it. So let's dive in. Cheers, y'all. That is very tasty. It's very summery in the glass. Mm. Yeah. That's good stuff, dude. Really, genuinely. I was I was not mm, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't like I was nervous doing this because I'm like, God, it's a lot of junk going on, lighter beer. You can really go sideways um using adjuncts in a wit beer and get a little too heavy handed and have it be kind of one dimensional or two off in one direction. It's not the case. It's showcasing that that zestiness. It's showcasing that lavender. And the beer is still there. They're working in equal parts. And while they're vibrant, nothing here is like overpowering the other, which is kind of my my hesitation when it comes to beers like this, especially in the homebrew level. But you know, you know, Phil's coming in with a little bit of heat here, throwing a lager down, nailing it, throwing a wit beer down, nailing it. It's you know, I understand as as a homebrewer goes, that's typically, you know, you wanna you wanna lean in and perfect the OG styles. But in today's beer world, when a lot of uh, homebrewers send me beer, and I'm not poo-pooing on this, they tend to send me their version of an adjunct uh, stout, pastry stout, or their version of a hazy, which is awesome for them to do. And, it, and for someone that's obviously into beer like Phil, and to still lean into uber-traditional styles and do them really, really well, I think that sets a really beautiful kind of foundation for moving forward and getting into those kind of kooky madooky styles. It's good stuff, brother. As I said in the first video, I won't go long form on this. 
my purpose here is to drink these beers and talk about them and find positives and more importantly negatives about the beer honestly negative wise if i'm really going to lean into it undercarbed um a little bit not that you want this over effervescent carb uh beer but definitely has just a little bit of soft carbonation going on i mean it's not criminal it's not like it's not not carb but definitely can use a little bit more carbonation to it but that's about it and really outside of that i love the balance between the base beer that base wit beer which is coming through again like the reason i lean into that beer when i go to those places those airports those um uh, you know those restaurants that don't have good beer selection which is few and far between nowadays but it's because it's such an approachable beer, such a drinkable beer. It's very, pretty much my gateway beer for people in a sense where people know I'm in the craft beer. They know what I do and they go, hey, man, I, I don't drink craft beer. What should I? I want to try some. What should I dive into? The dumbest thing you can possibly do is be like, oh, get this triple IPA and blah, blah, blah. Whit beer. Whit beer. Give it to somebody a whit beer. I, that, they're usually like, man, this is pretty good stuff. And then once they acclimate to that, then they can move on to different styles and stuff. That It's like a gateway beer to the craft beer world. Not that I want to get anybody into this world if you love drinking on your bud lights and and miller high lifes love it baby love it drink it chug it enjoy it but wit beers tend to be that really beautiful kind of gateway beer and with this taking that and adding that elevation of that lavender again not team lavender love the way it's working here and that added pop of that citrus zest i dig it just again like i said nitpicky very nitpicky carbonation just love to bump that up a little bit done and done yeah really great stuff two beer banger um i have one more beer to uh, go from the batch that he sent me he sent me four beers total um the two homebrew we're finishing this up one well, now there's a stout in there i already uh, reviewed that and then uh, he, he sent me was it a berlin or a goza i think it might have been a goza I'm, I'm gonna sit on it for a little bit i have this hesitation to drink those now because every now and then I kind of have allergic reactions so i gotta pick and choose my battles with that make sure i have benadryl around and stuff like that but yeah there you go reviewing the books homebrew room reviewing the books hopefully you guys enjoyed phil hopefully you enjoyed watching these again my job here is to talk about the beers if i find things that i can nitpick about if i find things that are overtly negative if i they're straight up hot garbage my my purpose here is to be completely honest so uh, I'm not saying things just to be a nice guy. <laughs> they really are good, so I appreciate you sending them off, brother. And if anybody else out there ever wants to send off homebrew, you're more than welcome. Reach out to me, madamassabeers.com. Hit me up on the social medias, all that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the homebrew review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of uh, homebrew right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all. <laughs>